Hi, and welcome to this section of the Algebra Word Problem Tutor. And uh, it's kind of funny that this is called the Algebra Word Problem Tutor, but this section of the course is actually going to deal with word problems involving geometry. And uh, I kind of struggled where to put this, if, if I should put this uh, particular section in the geometry course or not, but I felt like in the end it fit more with the word problems and the theme of, of algebra because you'll see that when we work the problems even though they involve geometry and geometric concepts when you actually solve them you're doing a lot of algebra you're setting up a, a algebra equations basically to solve what you're trying to solve for we're just going to use some of the concepts in geometry that I know you're all familiar with and if you're not familiar with them I'm going to teach you them as we go along uh, uh, you know here in the class so the, the idea here is the same as the other ones we're going to read the problem we're going to set up uh, uh, in, many, many, in many cases a diagram, but we'll also set up our equations and we'll solve our equations and we'll get the answers. So let's just dive right into it. The first one says the perimeter of a rectangle is 42 inches and the length of the rectangle is 3 inches longer than the width. Find the dimensions of the rectangle. So the only thing that I really need to point out here that you may or may not know is the perimeter of something just means how far all the way around uh, 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 the base is there, uh, would it be? So if you measure with a tape measure all the way around, that would be called the perimeter. So it says the perimeter of a rectangle is 42 inches. So before we get into that, let's just draw a rectangle. Okay? We know it has some width and we know it has some length. Okay? And this width here is the same as this width and this length is the same as this length because it's a rectangle. Okay? Now we know that the perimeter of a rectangle is going to be equal to uh, the total length all the way around, okay, which is 2L plus 2W. Now, if you don't quite see that or remember that from geometry, it kind of makes sense. It's the total length all the way around. So 2 times L is going to be this plus this, and 2 times W is this plus this. So if I add all of this together, that gives me the, the perimeter. But it tells me in the problem that the perimeter is equal to 42. So that's going to be 2L plus 2W. This is one of my two equations. This is one of the ones I want to keep to help me solve the problem. The next thing it says is the length is 3 inches longer than the uh, width. L is 3 plus W. The length is 3 inches longer than the width, so that's another important equation. Now notice I'm trying to find the dimensions of this rectangle, which means I'm trying to find the length and the width. Now I've got two equations and two unknowns and that's exactly what I need to solve the problem. So let's proceed just as we, has, as, we ha, as we have before. Let's take this L and we'll plug it in here. So what we will get is 42 is equal to 2 times L, but L is given by this, so I'll put 3 plus W in plus 2W, just kind of carrying this down. Now I can solve for W, okay? 42 is equal to, distribute this 2 in, 2 times 3 gives me 6, plus 2 times W gives me 2W, and then of course I have this 2W over here that just is, a, is along for the ride. Okay, so then 42 is equal to 6 plus 2W plus 2W is 4W, okay? And now in order to solve for W, I need to get it by itself, so I'm going to take the 6 and I'm going to move it over. So I'm going to have 42 minus 6 because I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides. On the right, it disappears because 6 minus 6 is 0, and on the left, you're just subtracting here. Now, 42 minus 6 is uh, 36, okay? And that's equal to 4W. And so W, just divide both sides by 4 to get rid of